Okay, hello, this is Dinky Master 7 and today I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to uh, make your own brake lines. It's actually pretty simple to make these yourself. Uh, on most cars, these are made out of steel. Um, this was no exception, this was a 1977 Toyota Corolla. The local auto parts store. Um, uh, and, um, here I bought this copper set of, uh, brake line, as you can see. Uh, I also picked up some new, uh, fittings there. Make sure you get the, uh, correct size. Um, these are the same. That's good. And I also bought this, uh, tool. Or bending the brake hose this is just a generic tool any other part store that you visit you just ask for this tool to bend the brake pipe and they will find it for you then we have this kit um, you don't have to buy the kit but it's always a good idea this is so uh, if you look at this old line it has a flare in the end this is a flaring kit so uh, I will show you how it works, but it, it's got most of the things for different diameters and so on, as well as the tool for cutting the brake line itself. So, okay, let's start. So, before we start with the actual bending process, we need to measure roughly the length of the old brake line. And to do that, I just use this. This is a USB cable I had laying around. And at the end, I'm going to start to measure it right there. And I just try to roughly follow the shape of the uh, brake lines. Okay, I know, like so. And all the way to there. So I know that the total length of this line is going to be from there to there. Right now I will straighten this out, this is copper so it's, it is possible to straighten out and I will try to make it as straight as possible. Um, then I will take the, the measured part, which I have right here, in the end and measure it so we got got roughly the size right there and then i will um see right there i will go ahead and mark the line right there so i, I know where to cut it then once we have the line marked there uh, we will take our kit here and use the tool for cutting and the cutting process of a, a brake line is it's pretty simple you just um, these tools are fairly much the same you uh, untighten them then you put them inside of these rollers right there and we mark up where we need them to uh, cut and then we uh, let's see there then you just Turn it around and around and around uh, like that. And when it gets lighter, you tighten this again. And then you just continue with this until it's totally loose. Once you've done this a couple of times, there you can see. Loosen up and we got a, a perfect uh, cut right there. That's perfect. Super nice. Okay, so now we can clear off all of these excess things and uh, focus on how to get the, the flare part done. Now we want to try to uh, make the same shape as this uh, original tube and I often find it simple just to, to lay it down like that and you can sort of try to... Uh, Make your own bends, you know, you have to be uh, familiar with the um, material, 
so there's one bend then we want to mark where our next bend is going to be so right about there we will bend that like so and perhaps a little bit more or like that that looks pretty good and then we will mark up where our next bend should be that looks pretty close to me now that we have the uh, this put on this just slides in like so as you can see uh, we will make our bend and you just tightly tighten this so that you get the, the bend you want to want then once you have your line, uh, your pipe roughly bent to the shape of the original, uh, you will have to put these on and uh, it's important to put these on first uh, and not later. And then we can uh, start the uh, flaring process. Then you want to take this, uh, which says 316, um, once again, place that on there. Uh, now that we have this in there with that on the back side, uh, the rule here is that this, uh, the thickness of this should be how far up that should stick. So, uh, if you look right there, that should be about perfect. And once you've tightened it all up, sure it's not going to go anywhere. I need to clean that hole out. You can use a knife or a screwdriver, just uh, clear it out. Then you want to take this flaring part and shove it in there. All you do is you put your tool in like so. Then you will just tighten this up. Make sure that all of these are tight as well. Um, and you will tighten it until it's pretty firm. There you go. Beautiful. It's a nice flare. Then we will we'll do the same for the other side. Let's now have a look. What we got? I see a beautiful flare. So, there you go. Both sides are done. That's flare. That's flare. That's how you go from this to this it's totally doable at home i hope this was helpful thanks for watching this video and uh please subscribe to my channel so on uh have a nice day